If there's someone who knows trading cards... 25 cents each. It's Don Joss. Good morning. Better known as DJ. Welcome. He's built his life around it. DJ Sports Cards. He's been running his business in Renton for just about 35 years. Getting cards for me to put in my binder. Preserving old trading cards. I would pay you half, but I'd need my guys to like get more accurate prices for them. And distributing new. Okay. He estimates he has 4 million cards. You want to do 70 on the first card? All of varying value. Don't you want the rare card? That one, yeah. that one is yeah. harder to find. Choosing to keep his storefront through the decades because he loves these face-to-face -face interactions. A lot of the early 90s stuff, they printed a lot, so. Interactions that grow when players do well or when big games come to town, like the All-Star Game. It brings a lot of people in from all over the country to watch the game. And a lot of sports fans, when they go to a new town, they will find the new card shops around because there's not many around the country anymore. He remembers when the game was in Seattle in 2001 and how his business was able to keep that momentum going even when the game ended. But it was historical. It was something that not just at the time was enjoyable, but for years after that, we had memorabilia and photos and, and things from that game and people still talk about it. This year, he's expecting the same. I hope really busy. That should be good. And simultaneous with the crowds picking up at the shop. We don't have a Joel McHale kicking around anywhere, do we? They're moving locations. Thank you. So we're here through Saturday, yeah, and, and then we'll be at the new. Yes, sir. Expanding. Yeah. Thank you. To a bigger spot <laughs> just a few blocks away. You see all the clutter in here. The new store, I don't want any clutter. A goal of opening his new doors right in time for the all-star rush on Monday. So, so the last sale on Jamal Crawford was 80. With every card and novelty item sold, he knows he's keeping all eras of sports enthusiasm alive. Thank you again. In a way, it's his calling card. They're tangible, they're beautiful, they have an intrinsic value to them, and they can help people remember the past or look forward to the future. Leah Pizzetti. Thank you. You're welcome, Pally. King 5 News.